Hello, today I'm going to be doing Naramon's YouTube survey, the one from 2012 that everyone's still doing in 2013 because he hasn't done a 2013 one yet. I've actually been tagged by Joel Pies, I'll link him in the description box, probably because I've been still crucially commenting on all his videos, but that's not because I'm weird, it's because I tend to comment on lots of videos, I just always like to leave a little comment, particularly on people who don't have that many subscribers, so that they know that someone's watched and is appreciating their videos. That's nice, isn't it? On with the survey, why are you called that? Shall I tell you a secret? My name isn't actually Vicky, my name is Victoria. My mum named me Victoria because she wanted to name me something that wasn't really strange and unusual but wasn't something that was going to be really popular to the point where everyone had that name. I don't particularly like Victoria because I think it's quite old fashioned. My middle name is Louise, I'm not sure why I'm called that, I think it's just because my mum and dad liked it and Humphreys obviously is my dad's last name. My YouTube name, Vicky the Pixie, is a little nod to my gal Pixie Lot, who has the same two first names as me, Victoria Louise Lot, or Humphreys in my case. Tell us about your favourite school teacher. I'm not going to talk about my secondary school teachers because I'm still at secondary school, so I don't really think that's fair on the teachers and it could cause me a lot of complications. So I'll talk about my primary school teachers. My favourite primary school teacher was Miss Manning. She was a crazy Australian lady and had some mad plans and I had so much fun in that class and I really learnt, I actually learnt a lot, particularly in history and maths which I was struggling in at the time and she was great and unfortunately she ended up going back to Australia and I miss her a lot, Miss Manning was the coolest. What's the strangest food you've ever eaten? I'm actually a very fussy eater so I haven't really eaten much weird food but the weirdest food I've ever eaten will probably be squid when I was a child. I used to eat that quite a lot. It's not really weird. It's a little bit exotic. That's all really. I'm just generally quite fussy and don't try new stuff. Which I should. Perhaps that should be an improvement. We'll see. Tell us about your first gig. My first gig was Gareth Gates. I was seven years old. All I remember is that I didn't like it because it was really loud there. I'm officially the coolest kid in town. What's your favourite place in the world? I could not possibly pick my favourite place to visit because I've travelled so much and I've been to so many lovely places including America and Spain and Kenya and oh, I really couldn't pick. I just, I love the world. But if I had to pick somewhere that's my favourite place to live, at the moment it would be right here where I am because I've got good friends here and I enjoy my life here and it's really nice living in the good old subs, the suburbs of London. It's a nice mix of city because I'm not that far from London and countryside because I'm not that far from some more rural towns. So I like having the mix and the choice of the two. Who would you like to do the survey next? In the style of Joel Pies, I will pick my next two survey answerers based on the people who have commented on my videos the most and that's Miss D Girl 246 or Drixie and It's Simple Charlotte or Charlotte. Yes, they're my two best friends. Doesn't matter. They're the ones who commented the most, so they're the ones getting tagged. If you wanted to be tagged, you should have commented more. Deal with it. And I keep saying that this will be my last video because I'm doing exams and that never happens, so I'm not going to say that. If you don't see me for a while, that's probably why, but you probably will see me because I can't resist doing this. I quite enjoy it. Thank you for watching.